Hello everyone, it's still Mac, it's still Wednesday, and this week's topic is resources. Um, I think that resources for trans people in general have probably become a lot more prevalent thanks to the internet, or at least the access of those resources. Um, but I don't know, because I have never really lived my life without the internet, so yay for being born in the 90s. Um, I know a main resource for me and for a lot of people in this group um, is Tumblr. Um, I probably initially found out about non-binary identities because of Tumblr. Um, I can't really think of any blogs in particular that I remember going to when I was still initially beginning to identify as trans. Um, if I do, I will link them below. Um, but I think one thing that's that's really good is if you have Tumblr or if you want to have Tumblr, um, follow people who have different gender identities, go through the tags, um, you know, and just see what, what other people are, are saying about themselves and about other people. Um, but, you know, keep in mind that Tumblr definitely isn't perfect. It's a blogging network and so people can post whatever they want and that doesn't necessarily mean it's true or it's right um, or they can say very negative things um, so just keep that in mind when browsing of course that's true of anywhere on the internet um, another pretty good website uh, it's called susans.org I'll link it below um, there's a lot of posts about your rights as a transgender person um, they have a lot about, uh, trans-friendly doctors and stuff like that. That's actually how I found, uh, my therapist. Um, there's also a forum that has a pretty broad spectrum of gender identities and a lot of different ages, too. One problem with Tumblr is that pretty much everyone is high school, college age, which is great, but... It's pretty cool to hear from trans people that are, like, my parents' age. Um, so that's that's been a pretty good resource for me. Um, also, uh, local groups. Um, in my state, there's a group called Louisiana Trans Advocates that's doing some great things. Um, they have meetings in a lot of the major cities. I haven't been able to go to one. Hopefully I'll be able to go to one soon. Um... If you're in school, um, I don't know about high school because I was homeschooled, but um, every college that I've been to has had some sort of LGBT group. I know that previously I haven't felt comfortable as identifying as trans in those spaces. Um, a lot of it is very centric to um, gay men, which you know, it's great, because they definitely need spaces, too, um, but they're not always as educated about trans issues or about non-binary issues, um, but I know the school that I'm starting this semester, um, I signed up for their LGBT group, and it was really cool, because in the sign-up, the gender space was blank, and so I could type you know, how I identified, and they asked my preferred pronouns and stuff like that, um, and so I'm very much excited for it, but I haven't met with them yet, so I don't know exactly what to expect, um, but I'm sure that will come up as a topic in future videos. Um, that's pretty much it for me. Um, there aren't a lot of resources out there specifically for non-binary people, and if there are, I haven't exactly found them. Um, but, um, I think that if there were more resources, then more people would identify as something other than cisgender. Um, hopefully this channel becomes a resource for people in the future. Um, but, yeah. So, do I end, like, every video with this? I don't know.